Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more historic here on Magic Arena. Now today we're going to go for three in a row with the mono black decks. Um, was really kind of planning something like this, but it kind of mutated in a sense into uh, into something else. But uh, again, I'm excited to actually revisit this deck. Um, from before this is a deck from a long time ago uh, once we really started getting into historic a lot and this had a lot of success so i'm really hoping to improve upon this deck a little bit and just to see what we can do but real quick though before we hop into today's deck for multiple reasons um, do want to have a few announcements as always hit the subscribe button hit the like button check out all the cool links in the description below leave a comment letting us know what you want to see in a future video all that good stuff but I really want to, again, thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for getting us to a community of 5,000 plus strong. It's, it's amazing. Uh, again, I never thought that we would get here. And, you know, each and every one of you have been, have been amazing. We have not really experienced, we have not experienced any negativity in the community at all. And... That's amazing for a community of this size. You know, um, just seeing all your comments every day and interacting with you on Discord um, really, again, means so much to me. Um, and because of the fact that we hit 5,000 and I did promise it, and because our friends at NerdHala, boom, image above, insert. And you'll even get that. But they are sponsoring another giveaway. And so we are going to be giving away, boom, a double masters VIP pack. These are sweet. These, uh, these are all foil, I believe. Um, we have one of these to give away for the winner, um, to be eligible. You have to fill out the form down in the description below. Um, it's just like five or six questions. There's no crazy info that you need to give us other than uh, your username for YouTube, for Twitch, if you follow on Twitch and on Discord, because that's how we're going to get a hold of you. Um, you do need to answer each of the questions to be eligible uh, and you do need to be a member of the Discord. So really the only stipulations. And then you have a chance at this uh, awesome Double Masters VIP pack. And hopefully you'll pull, uh, I don't, what's, what's the big cards? Like uh, Mana Crypt, Force of Will, stuff like that. So that would be cool if uh, you could win that. So uh, again, link down there for the, uh, for the form. And um, just so you know, any of the information is not going to be used for anything else. Once the giveaway is over and the prize has been sent out to the winner, the form is going to get destroyed along with all of the information gathered and again there's nothing on here that is going to um, be any kind of personal information that you have to worry about so but yeah so with that being said let's hop right into today's deck we're playing uh Ozlich 2.0 nothing no fancy name we've already named it Ozlich because it again it is an uh an uh Ozolith slash uh phylactery lich deck so let's see what this card does that we are playing four of again. Phylactery Lich is a three mana indestructible five five. When it enters the battlefield, you put a phyla uh, phylactery counter on an artifact you control. And when you control no permanents with phylactery counters on them, you sacrifice the Lich. So ideally what we wanna do is we wanna put this phylactery counter on Ozolith. While we have, you know, we're gonna have Ozolith in play already. We're going to play Phylactery Lich. The counter is going to get put on the Ozolith. And then as soon as combat starts, we're going to put the counter back on Phylactery Lich. That way we're going to have a indestructible creature with a counter on it. And the only way they're going to be able to get rid of the, the, the Lich at that point is to either bounce it or exile it. And that's it. So that's what we're trying to do. We can also put the counter on a treasure map. And when we flip the treasure map from the artifact side to the land side, the counter will stay on it and it will be on the land now and lands are harder to destroy than artifacts. 
uh, typically, um, again, it depends on what meta you're playing against. Some, you know, some of you might be playing uh, against a lot of land destruction. Some of you might be playing against a lot of artifact destruction. So, um, you know, choose choose how you want to do this wisely. But again, this deck is sweet because of the fact it does play the Ozolith. Uh, Ozolith, uh, Ozolith, Ozolith is a really cool card. It's got really, really sweet uh, synergies, really fun interactions. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put all those counters on the Ozolith. It doesn't even have to be plus one, plus one counters or minus one, minus one counters. They could be all the cool flying, uh, hexproof, um, all of those different ability counters that, for example, Mechagodzilla could, could get. So each of our turns, Mechagodzilla is going to get a random counter, whether it be flying, first strike, death touch, hexproof, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, vigilance. I mean, that's a mouthful right there, but each turn it's going to randomly get one of those. And then if it were to die with all those counters, those counters are going to go onto the Ozolith. And then the Ozolith is going to transfer those counters onto potentially a Phylactery Lich or a Grim Dancer or a Stone Coil Serpent um, or Draina. We're actually going to play a few copies of Draina here to see if Draina can really just start taking over the game. So, all right, what else do we have? We have Shadow Spear. Shadow Spear is good in the fact that it is going to allow our permanents that our uh, opponents control to lose hexproof and indestructible until in the turn but we're mainly playing it for the fact that it gives plus one plus one trample and lifelink so instead of having just a five five indestructible we're gonna have a six six trampling indestructible lifelinker which is really really fun stone coil serpent again this is an x spell it gets plus one plus one counters if it leaves the battlefield those counters are going to go into the ozolith and then the ozolith's going to move them on to something else so that's why we're playing this so we get to really just size up how big we want this creature to be and then move those move those counters onto a creature at will we have three copies of red horde invasion again this card it's a zero zero zombie army token each turn it gets a plus one plus one counter so if these zombie if this zombie army creature dies the following turn we're going to make another zombie army and then we're going to get those counters right back on it so this is kind of like a creature that just replaces itself and it's going to get bigger every turn anyway so even if they have a way to remove it it's still going to be in play so it's still going to be a really really hard threat to deal with we're also playing three copies of heartless act this is um, kind of on flavor with what we're doing it destroys a creature with no counters on it so because we're, we're not going to want to kill our creatures but then we can remove up to three counters from target creatures so if our opponent's doing weird things with counters we can remove counters from there you know with um like hydroid crisis um lands from nissa we get to remove the counters to kill it so it is fun cry the carnarium this is for aggro decks this is not going to kill any of our creatures hopefully we're not playing any two two stone coil serpents but this is really for like elves and goblins and stuff like that. Uh, again, two copies of Draina. We're trying this out. It's a three mana, two, three flying first strike. When we attack with all of our creatures, when Draina hits, since she does have first strike, she's going to deal her combat damage to a player. And then all of our other creatures are going to get plus one, plus one. Um, so they're all going to get a counter, um, which is flavorful with the Ozolith. And then Grim, Grim Dancer, 3 mana, 3, 3. When it comes into play, we get to choose two different types of counters to put on it, whether they're Menace, Death Touch, or Lifelink. And again, those are all to move around onto uh, different creatures. And finally, we have Necropanther. Necropanther is a card I'm trying out. It's a 3, uh, it's a three casting cost 3, 3, but we're never going to cast it. We're going to mutate it because we're not, we're not playing any white mana we're just playing the mutate ability because it is black it is four mana but this says whenever it mutates we get to return target creature card from uh, our graveyard with converted mana cost three or less to the battlefield so we can return mecha godzilla the liches other necro panther grim grim dancer Draina. we have so much stuff that we can actually return uh for that value and that should be able to get us there and we're only playing 22 land because we are playing a monocolor deck and we are really curving out at a max four mana. Three if you look at the casting cost, but four with the mutate ability. So that's what we're trying to do. Hopefully we're going to do it. Again, thank you so much everybody for 5,000. I can't stress it enough. Check out the link to the form down below in the description. Enter for your chance to win. And again, there is a, there's actually a bonus, uh, bonus point, or not a bonus point, but a bonus entry if you also follow on Twitch. So do that please. Let's get into the gameplay. We will see you at the wrap-up. All right, Ozilich 2.0. This is 
deck number three of the mono black series and then we're going to start looking at some other stuff this is kind of like a surprise uh series that we decided to do so oh blue white flyers interesting they're gonna have another fairy miscreant Oh, C dash. Well, that honestly makes our turn turn super super easy here. Just start you over. Hope to draw land. If we draw land, we're sitting pretty good. All right, one drop, one drop. Now we actually get to move the Shadow Spear onto it. We're gonna have a 6-6 six, six Lifelinker. That's pretty good against this deck, right? I guess Rally a Wing still gets us pretty good. We have a trampling, life-linking, indestructible creature. Terramander. So the last card in their hand being Rally Wings kind of sucks. But it is not the game. Wow. Wow, that's a good hit. If they have Rally Wings, they have to use it now. All right, what are they thinking about? What are they thinking about? Are they thinking about untapping and blocking? That'd be great. Their guy is indestructible. Let's say hello to get their attention. And then do we enter do we enter scoop phase? This this is either cast rally to save or lose all your creatures. Yep. It's actually a pretty decent draw for them. They have to hold back blockers now. So, let's see how they block. They only block with one. Then that's going to be the game. That was a pretty, uh, pretty commanding performance by this deck in game one. I like it. Alright, we're going into... Game number two. Make sure we're hydrating, guys. Everybody watching, please hydrate. Super important. Artemidge. So we have a one, two, and do a three potentially here. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. I hope our opponent's actually not playing this deck from their sleeves. It's a Song of Creation deck. Come on. Let's go. Is your hand that good? Or that borderline? You just really don't know if you're going to mulligan or not? Maybe they ran to the bathroom. Maybe they had the, uh, maybe they were prairie dogging it.
Is there a extended art for Stone Coil Serpent on Arena? There probably is. How sick would this game be if we could, um, if they had like multiple arts, like five or ten different art styles per card? All right, well. Oh, we're two minutes into this game and we finally get to play. Nice. Oh, and they're on some form of mono white life game. Could be on the core, the core deck, but just not playing Luris. They're on the uh, let's play all the different land game. No, they're def definitely on mono white life game. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna run this out for two. And then we'll probably, unfortunately, oh no, just a prime mate. Okay. Now I say just a pride mate. Like, that's, uh... Oh, you don't want to swing in? I want you to swing in. What you got? Show us what you got. Lifelink. Oh, Heliod, really? Who earns? Heliod is so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Oh. Interesting. You're gonna block so that primate becomes a uh, five five. I don't think this is gonna go how you want it to go. We have a lifelink counter and a plus one plus one counter. Okay. If they attack, we're going to block. 100%. Okay. Your thing, boss. You have a 4 4 pride mate. This person has made some questionable choices. It's not always about trying to push through. That was a, actually a pretty good drill. Why can't I... Oh, because it's gold. Because it's gold. Derp a derp.
Oh, I really thought he was going to block for a second. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to play with that. Nope. Um. Yep. We will take that. Yeah, Linden is just... Oh, really? Okay. If they would have gotten rid of this, they would have actually gotten rid of it. It does kind of suck, but not the end of the world. Ooh, all the swamps in a row. Kind of gross. Sick draw, bro. Sick draw. Target a creature. Sure. Got hexproof now? Or vigilance. Alright, so vigilance. Okay. And a Daxos. Wow. Pretty good. 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh man. Blowing that trombone in there. That was a good hit. Let's see if we can get flying. Oh, he's starting to sound pretty good. Lifelink. Oh, man. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? Oh, that's great. Well, that trombone. This is a this is turning out to be a long game. I'm waiting for him to attack. I'm hoping he thinks now is the time. Now is definitely not the time, but it is the time for us if he does. Coward. All right, so we want a uh, death touch, life link. Do hex proof, trample. All right, what do you got over there, my friend? Oh, bad. Ugh, that's not good. And I will protect you as my own. Now is the time to strike. 
I question that. I think I may might have put it on Daxos. There's nothing wrong with putting it on the Orator, but... Um... Oh, it's indestructible? So, I mean, we just block here? With our indestructible? Then you did it. You got in there. Alright, let's get some flying. It's only a matter of time. Still no flying. Oh, shoot. That is not good. Now he's going to want his creatures to die. Ah, oh, there's so many triggers with, uh, with Basri. Block. Block. I think we're just going to take twelve. Oh my god, there's just too many triggers here. Down to Spear is not a horrible draw, but it doesn't really get us anywhere. It does actually make stuff indestructible. I mean, these have to get flying now. What? Still don't have flying. Vigilance, first strike, menace, vigilance. Death touch, life, oh my god. Still don't have all the right, all the right things. Still have a chance. So we actually get to kill Iliad. That first strike? Yeah, that says first strike. Block. Okay. 
This is a crazy game. Yeah, you're you're doing it like I don't understand why you're putting all these counters on this brood moth. Finally, finally got rid of that stupid. Oh my gosh. There's no way we're going to get rid of Basri. Oh my god, this is so crazy. And the Heliod came back? Oh my god. The problem is we didn't have a first striking death touch to block that with. Yep. Do it. Menace, Hexproof, First Strike, Vigilant. I don't think this is going to work the way you want it to work, my friend. Oh, keep them coming. I guess we didn't need to do. How is this game still going? This is pretty crazy. This might be the longest game I've ever played on a arena match. Um, fourth. We're gonna do four. I mean, this one Mecha Godzilla is pretty, pretty good. It's your thing. I mean, past the blockers. We're gonna block. Yeah, this Shadow Spear is doing work. How is this game still going? This is crazy.
Do another one? Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, that's a card that is useless. This for four again. This has to get flying now, right? Oh my god, we did it. We're gonna kill this thing. Let it happen, my friend. The sun has befuddled my brain. This is literally the longest game I've ever played. Oh my gosh, this is a crazy game, guys. This is truly the mecha-ist of all Godzillas. This game might last another 10 minutes the way this person's playing. Why? I mean, I, th I think they just have another one. But we're trying to get some counters on Ozolith, so... Yep. We read that correctly. I hate that I have to click on Resolve after I click on Resolve All. You have nothing else to do, my friend. Come on. Come on. Yep, yep, they're at 71. 71 life. This is gonna this is gonna be the entire video. This one game. Come on, my friend. And yes, I do want them to block. Yeah, they just can't attack right now, because we have, seriously, like, this indestructible creature. We're just going to start slamming. Oh my god, dude, come on. Come on. This is a doozy.
All right, we're making we're making headway. Look at us. Who's the life gain deck now? Do it like this. So it's so it's at the right angle. This is just two counters that we're going to move on to another creature. Uh, I guess the lifelink, we shouldn't have done that. Oh, okay, if they're going to block like that, that's fine. Yep, can't can't give Heliod Bly flank. Yeah. Are you really about to attack? We're at 30 minutes. Crazy game. Yeah, so uh, a 30-minute game is going to definitely eat into our games. So I'm very sorry about that, but it was cool that we got to see that. Opponent goes first. I don't even remember if we went first that last game. We're going to mulligan this. Um, I guess we're going to keep this. All right, what is opponent playing? I know we're playing. No creatures. They didn't sack their Fabled Passage? What? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oops. Now you just failed to find, right? That'd be, that'd be even better. Oh my gosh, all of the, all of the treasure maps. No, we're just gonna take a draw, right? We take a draw and hit a, uh, hit a lich. We're good. But what's our opponent playing? Oh, okay. So they're playing God Pharaoh's Gift. Nope. Oh. Either God Pharaoh's Gift or Scarab God. Oh, really? Roth, what are you doing? What'd you get? What'd you take? What 
What do we get? Earth Strike. Hexproof would have been the would have been the one. Yep, Scarab God. So, yep, we're going to do it. Oh, boom, we did it. We got that lifelink. We got rid of a Scarab God. That was pretty big. But what do they have of ours? That's what I'm concerned about. I wonder if they just took a Nozolith. Or what if it's like a Phylactery Lich? Yep. Going to draw them all the cards. Yeah, we got to. Oh, we hit Menace. That's good. So I think we scry. I don't think we actually take a draw. I want to flip this treasure map as quickly as possible. Yep. Oh, that's such a powerful ability. Yeah, bring it, bring it in. All right, let's hit flying. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see what happens. We've got two liches out in play. Ooh. 
liches don't get stitches. So I'm, I'm really curious as to what this card is. Oh. Uh, what if it's a stone coil serpent? That really doesn't matter, I guess. It's going to matter later, but not right now. Infinite Gaunty kind of sucks. Oh no, it exiles, right? Yeah. It's going to happen once. I think they have a heartless act. I think that's what it is. I think that is a heartless act. Okay. That's not even our Heartless Act, that's theirs. It just has Menace. First Strike. You're just going to take 10? Wow. Four, five, six. This is a zombie, right? So they get to do this for one. Yeah, stone coil for six is pretty good. Champion, nah. Eh. NBD. Platinum Angel. That's a fun card that I'm going to have to deal with now. That's a fun card. Not really. I think that's part of the this is part of the reason why our last game was so long. It's because our opponent was playing really really slow. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything. You have Scare of God. Gaunty, Platinum Angel. Oh, don't want another stone coil. Be 100% honest with you. Don't want another Ozolith. Oh, is this good?
could just reanimate the Platinum Angel. And then take the damage. Black Platinum Angel. A zombie Platinum Angel. I mean, what's the chances that they just mess up? Negative six. We did it. Just got to get rid of this platinum angel. This plain angel. Yep, yep. I like how they have different... They have slightly different... That's so cool. Champion of Wits, Champion of Wits. That's pretty cool. That's, I'm actually pretty impressed with this. I wonder why our opponent didn't block with the 2-2. Two -two. Just free value. Just free value. This game's been 15 minutes. Our last game's 30 minutes. This is 15. Crazy. Gonti. Yep. We've gontied. Be gentle. I only have two Heartless Acts in our deck, and I really think this is one of them. Alright, so they're out of creatures. Now's the time. Like, they're tapped out. Oh, uh, just swing in. On deck. Pretty good. Good game. Oh, good game. That felt so good. Wow. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the wrap up. And this deck killed it. Um, we had a good we had a good run with it the first time we played it. We switched some things up. We had another good run this time. We went three and zero. Uh, I know three and zero is not the best uh, when it comes to the amount of games. It's not a good um, sample size, so to speak. But we did get to see a lot of cool interactions. We got that we had that crazy game against Mono White. Then we had that that game right afterwards. Uh, that Mono White game was thirty minutes. That next game was fifteen minutes. So, I mean, we do have like 50 minutes of gameplay, um, but, you know, again, not a lot of games. And I, and I apologize about that, but I do feel like we did get to see some cards. Uh, we did get to highlight some cards and I, and I did, I do feel like we have some cards that we probably need to cut down on. Um, for example, uh, I know with the, I know with the game against the uh, Scarab God deck, the Cry of the Canarium did kind of come into play in a sense that it did actually remove a Scarab God, uh, one of his Scarab Gods. But it's, I feel like just having two of them in the deck is probably not going to be super beneficial for us. And then again, Drena, probably not the best card in here. 
and then maybe playing four Necropanthers is too many. So I think we would drop the Necropanthers down to three, um, maybe even just two, and then remove the Cries and the Drainas from the deck. So we potentially have five to six other cards to work with. So um, if you want, uh, I would like to, I would love to hear your feedback on what cards we could actually replace those. So let's say we're gonna play the same deck. We have five to six cards to work with. What cards would you play uh, to replace those? Um, very interesting. I'm uh, very interested to, to hear what you uh, think should actually go in those slots. So um, again, yeah, this deck, this deck's a lot of fun. Uh, Phylactery Lich is is a really powerful card. Yeah, it has a lot of it has a big drawback if they can get rid of that artifact. But if they can't, it has such a huge upside. Uh, and again, being able to take advantage of the Ozolith. Uh, with cards like Mecha Godzilla and Stone Coil Serpent, and especially Dreadhorde Invasion, is pretty pretty powerful. So, and then also Grim Dancer was pretty cool to actually get in here and try it out. This is like a borderline, almost could be a rare because of just how powerful it is. Um, but I mean, luckily it's not. But yeah. So again, let me know what you want to uh, what we should play in in um, in those six slots, those five to six slots depending on what you think should be played, whether we should do two or three Necropanthers. I'll leave that up to you. And then again, please enter the giveaway. Again, link down below in the description. Super, super, super uh, happy to be, able to, doing, uh, to be able to do this for you. Again, thank you to, to uh, NerdHala, logo right here, for sponsoring the giveaway. Again, 5,000 subscribers is amazing. I can't wait until we hopefully hit 10,000. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like then. Uh, I just know it's going to be at least at least twice as awesome because each and every one of you is amazing. So um, with that being said, again, please subscribe. If you haven't, please like the video. Please share the video. Let's grow the community even faster. Join the Discord. Check out all the cool links in the description below. And stay safe. We will see you next time. Remember, this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community. And a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel.